Hi guys, good morning, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is December 16. Today I feel so much better. If you have been keeping up with my whole journey, I have been in a little bit of pain lately and it's just... <sighs> right now I just feel like it's finally time for me to actually heal my body and stop trying to make the gym my whole priority and like my body my whole priority or like how it looks like my whole priority instead of like focusing on living my life actually and when i was doing my goals for 2023 i just realized that i do not want to have as a goal anymore of like i want to gain muscle because <laughs> that's been like the goal for the past six years literally just like fitness and fitness and fitness and fitness and i talk about this on instagram stories because i feel like the gym i'm so grateful for the gym because it actually helped me manage my mental health which has not been the best and it's not about just eating disorder it's about just my mental health like before the eating disorder i used to cope with my mental health in very unhealthy ways i used to self-harm i used to hurt myself quite a lot when I was a kid and then I find I found another way to cope with my mental health which was restricting and dieting and controlling my body and calories and stuff like that and that gave me a lot of relief and that helped me manage my mental health and for that I'm super grateful because that's the reason why I'm here because I was able to find something that will help me manage but I feel like it's time for me to move on from that and I feel like I have been on this gym rat era or like trying to for many years right now i just want to change that up switch that up switch the little thing and just start a, something new this 2023 and why wait for 2023 when i can start right now my body has been whispering to me like hey um you need to slow down in your life you need to stop stressing so much because when i would stress and have fights with people or will start overthinking and get super overwhelmed with everything i deal with the stress in very unhealthy ways and i tend to also close my eyes and literally scream from inside and i break my blood vessels from my face because of how much effort i put into it i i hurt myself the gym was helping me manage that and not having as many like panic attacks and stuff like that, stress attacks, I don't know how to call them, but I feel like it's time for me to find new healthy coping mechanisms that are not the gym because I still need to get my peer back. I feel like I just want to slow down with my life. I want to be more in flow with my life. Actually take a break from that gym era girl and she can come back in the future maybe. Who knows but right now i want something new and i want to fully experience life and i want to give my body the break that it needs after so many years of constantly working out constantly like counting calories counting macros like my body has not been able to catch a breath <laughs> for many years it has been constantly on this stress mode on this fight or flight mode and i feel like this week it it all catch up into me and this week it just felt so fatigued and I felt my whole body just in so much pain. I have been crying for the past couple of days because of how much pain I have been experiencing. Without health, we literally have nothing, nothing like and that's that's how my body literally was screaming at me this week. Just like stop it, <laughs> slow down. So I decided to start creating a new dream life and focus on my life in general. And today will be a new day. I feel like I'm ready to change and I'm ready to embrace change and embrace this new season of my life without putting too much resistance into it. Because I feel like my body has been telling me that it's time to change for many years and I've been just putting so much resistance in. I think that's normal in every human because change is scary. But at the same time, I feel like I 
you want to do this for me and I don't want to get to the end of my life and then see how my whole life was just a cycle of going to the gym and then going home and then saying no to invitation and just doing the same thing every single day and just this cycle of repeating and repeating and repeating of trying to gain weight trying to gain muscle and once again hiring a fitness coach and like doing the same thing multiple times because that's like insanity so yeah I'm gonna create my vision board today and I actually pulled this book yesterday. I'm gonna start my um, book era too. I love reading and I remember when I was like 12 years, thir th 13 years old, I used to stay up until like 3 a.m. just like reading and reading and reading and I freaking love it and I stopped because I became obsessed with like food. We're gonna have a great day today and from now on and you're gonna come with me on this journey and I really hope you stay with me. I'm not gonna be posting as much fitness things anymore because I truly want to experience more in life and I just feel like fitness is such and should be such a small part of your life because there's so many things that you can do outside of the gym. I feel like I've been stuck on that cycle for many years and I really want to change now. So yeah, I <laughs> will talk to you guys later. But I'm gonna go and create my vision board right now. Okay, I literally messed up the egg, but it's okay. I don't care. It's still cute. So that matters oh, I'm alone in the sequence again And I still remember You can't run away again I wanna stop this for Hi guys, so I made a list on my book and also I've been using Notion and it has been great so I plan a little bit and I'm also promoting my podcast. It's all about weight gain. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It's going to be number 17. Episode 17 talking about weight gain. But I decided that I want to go to the pool and the sauna. And relax for a little bit with my book. So I put on my... How's this called? Vestido de baño. Swimsuit. Is that how you call it? I don't know. But I'm taking my book. I I'm taking shampoo, I'm taking conditioner right there and some clothes to change, probably record with my phone, my slippers too and I'm gonna go relax for a little bit because I feel like I need it, you know, but yeah, I'll see you guys later, maybe I will share my list of the things that I want to do and stuff like that, but for now, let's give ourselves some time and a space to just be in the pool and the sauna and the jacuzzi okay let's go hi guys i'm back and um i'm not gonna be like a scratch that i'm not gonna be reading that book anymore tell me why you guys recommended a book that starts with a guy or a man having a problem with some nerves how he's slowly dying and the lessons of like dying from that I need distraction. Uh, that's not distraction from like the pain on my legs. So we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna read that one because I don't have that. My mind, my brain likes to convince it, convince itself that I have a huge problem, but no, we're good. We're very good. We're healthy, we're happy, and we're gonna still do the things that we want to do. But we're gonna find another book that actually brings me comfort and makes me maybe maybe smile laugh or something like that but yeah i showered it was a pretty good shower and now i'm just gonna go make some lunch okay listen i'm not a huge fan of pasta but i made i decided to make like a pasta tuna mayonnaise salad i don't know to call it solid but it's not a solid it's just you know that's how you call it but yeah that's what i'm gonna have for lunch you guys please listen to this so creamy oh my god it's actually pretty good 
so I'm happy. Hi guys, it's a little later and I just felt the need to update you on this. I just called my doctor and the results from my blood work came. My B12 is actually high, so she told me to stop taking the um, supplement that I was taking and actually got me a little worried because if it's not that, that because I really thought that it was that, if it's, if it's not that, then why is this happening to me? And like, why am I feeling this way? And like, why my legs are like this? I know I need to stop overthinking, but I just, I just don't want to feel this way. And now that I guess, um, it's not that. So what is it? What the heck is it? She said that I had white blood cells low, which I don't know what that means, but I just feel like sharing with you guys that I don't know why is this happening or how to fix it and I get scared, but I asked her for an MRI. Let's see what she says. Um, that's a little bit of expensive. It's like $350, but I want to know what's going on. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated, but I don't want to cry anymore because I just want to feel okay. I just want to feel good. <laughs> See you later. Good morning, guys. It's the next day and we're going to go. It's Saturday. We're going to go and have some breakfast at Chick-fil-A with my family, with my parents and my brother. And that will be fun. I've never tried it before and I really want to. So I was the one that um invited them because i really wanted to try it <sighs> and tomorrow is sunday so it's not possible to do it tomorrow so we're going today and i'm actually excited and it's also super cold today and i don't like that i feel like all the pain is for the cold i swear i'm blaming the cold weather i'm blaming the cold weather and i'm saying that when summer comes around again, I will be completely fine again. And I will literally have all the energy again and it'll be more than okay. Mm, I'm not wearing like the best outfit right now. I'm just wearing like literally whatever put together. I did put something yellow just because I feel it lights me up. Oh, also, oh, I told you guys this yesterday, but... I'm gonna take a break from, not the gym, because I still go to the gym because it's like my second home and that's where I do yoga and Pilates and stuff like that, like little classes. But I'm not gonna do more like lifting stuff, um, like squats with barbells and stuff like that. No, I'm gonna take a break. I feel like my body just needs a very long break from the gym and being so obsessed about like gaining muscle and whatever so um that's what we're doing maybe this was the literally scream from my body to tell me stop it give me a break so that's what we're doing yeah i'm just gonna put a sweater i really want to make my nails too because look at this they look terrible guys like literally terrible but yeah and look at my new uh well they're not new but it's like the first time that I wear them and I really like them. Gosh, I don't know why this goes. Okay, that's better. Let's go. I'm excited to try it. It's gonna be a great day. Mom, Mom literally just woke up. <laughs> Mommy, por que no? I'm, I'm making them go with me to try chick fil -A. Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play a favorite. Hi guys, it's a little bit later. I have done nothing. Uh well like I did something. I actually did something. I finished another YouTube video and I posted it. So that's pretty good. And actually, I went to Walmart and I exchanged the book because I told you I'm not reading that anymore. 
and this is the one that I got. It's called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So let's see how that is. Um, my knee has been hurting a little bit and I get super overwhelmed about that. I don't like that. <sighs> but I don't know what else to do. I just want to feel okay. Um, I also saw somewhere that it might also like the pain might also be coming from my feet and maybe it's because I don't have I don't want to show you my feet but like I have flat feet so maybe if I buy the little thing in that you put um, on the curve on your feet to see if that helps a little bit I don't know other than that I've been feeling pretty relaxed I don't know how to explain it but I just feel very in peace with the choice that I made about taking a break from like lifting weights because honestly I don't even want to I'm gonna go to yoga and stuff which will be super nice because I feel like it will help me a lot to meditate and just I don't know feeling more touch with my body you know my goal for this month was actually to read two books and I finished my last book like three days ago but i haven't i wasn't able to have another book yet until now so today i want to read more so like more than i usually read like 10 pages 10 pages a day but today i'm gonna try and read quite a lot so that i can get more advantage of that because today's 6 17 so um it's more than halfway through and i really want to be able to complete that goal of having two books but yeah that's about it that's everything and you guys i think you guys all of you like i just posted on instagram and all of you were telling me how good this book is so i really hope it is um but yeah hi guys good morning we're watching the match argentina france and we're winning so that's pretty good and here's the outfit i love the shirt like it says snow days it's not as snowing today of course but it just feels more of like a wintry day i was gonna straight up my hair but i decided not to because you know what like this is my natural hair and i need to embrace it so that's what we're doing and i'm about to head um down because i'm gonna make breakfast and i think we're gonna go somewhere with my parents i have no idea where but it'll be fun so we're gonna have a fun day together and you're coming with me. So let's go. Breakfast, coffee, mom having bread and coffee. And Argentina is winning 2 0. So that's perfect. The best thing ever. See that? We're winning. I love my mom, she's so pretty. But if this breaks your little heart in my what should we do tonight? Let's just find out pretty blue jeans and me. Messi se está riendo. No, güey. Pero es que igualmente Argentina también el primer gol fue penalti. Ahí se lo pico a él. Hi guys, uh, Argentina won and that's like the best thing ever and my camera didn't want to work for like a little bit so that was scary but it's not working, it's not working. I brought my book and I don't know, we're going to the mall so it's gonna be good. <laughs> Hi guys, it's the next day. I actually didn't record anymore because my camera died and then I was just very present with my family. I decided to take a little break from like scrolling on my phone or trying to block everything and it was actually a pretty nice day yesterday. I had a very good time with my family and there's my dog once again. She's always here. 
but basically I just wanted to pop in here and tell you guys how much better I've been feeling I've been feeling super happy with my morning routine and everything I don't go to the gym super early in the morning in the morning anymore I just take my day super slow and I just I don't know I've been enjoying this routine more because I get to just be more present and slow down and I just feel less stressed and it's great it's going great I'm also taking a break from like lifting heavy weights and yeah it's scary that mm, I'm not gonna gain muscle I'm gonna gain it all in fat and that's what my brain tells me all the time of course I have the same thoughts that you guys have but I just don't let that get into me sorry for the light I just don't get that get into me and I'm just like mm, okay I can hear the voices and I can hear the negative thoughts and the negative negative thinking in my mind but I'm not gonna let it bring me down and I'm not gonna let it stay in, like step in the way of me trying to reach my main goal and my main priority priority which is being healthy just slowing down and just gaining my weight and just inspiring you all to get better because you guys if you don't know already you guys are a big big part of why i do what i do and you guys motivate me every single day to keep going and i just love you all so thank you so much for being here and i'll see you guys on the next one i'm already thinking about the next video because i freaking love this i love doing all of this so i'll see you on the next one i love you I'm